Yo, what's up you guys, Pezo here, welcome to Anza Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm just gonna teach you guys how to make really really awesome uh, color correction for your wallpapers, for your banners, or whatever you like. So, uh, let me show the example. So, here it is. As you can see, it looks really nice. You can change the color, and uh, you can add some texture on it, I mean the patterns. So, uh, I will teach you how to make the color correction like that. So, my uh, next tutorial will be about the layer styles. Uh, as you can see, uh, which write color correction tutorial. Uh, I really like this layer style. So, uh, I will make a tutorial about it. So, keep waiting, guys. Okay. Uh, I'm, I will use this wallpaper, Assassin's Creed wallpaper, in this tutorial. So you can use any wallpaper you want. So uh, let's open the Photoshop and get started. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna delete this color correction. Then go to File, Open, and open your wallpaper. I'm just gonna use this one. Then first make a new group. I'm gonna name it color correction CC so go over this icon right there and select gradient map and don't touch anything just leave it black and white just close this and go over the uh, blending option and select overlay then change the opposite about 50% uh, then go over this icon again and select curves so just uh, make uh, two points on this line so first one right there so make it a little bit down like this depends on your wallpaper and uh, make the second point right there and make it a little bit up if you're uh, if you're using a darker wallpaper just put it uh, right there if you are using um, um, lighter wallpaper just make this point a little bit down so I'm just gonna use this one here we go depends on your wallpaper so close this and change the opposite about 75% so I'm just gonna add as a gradient map so go over this icon again and select gradient map so open this color open the first one and make it uh, dark gray not full uh, black just a little bit this color i mean so click ok go over the second color so select whatever uh, color you want so i'm gonna choose the red color like this you can copy uh, this code right there C639 uh, 39. so click OK then close this and change the blending option hue so now I'm gonna add uh, levels don't touch these settings, only change the middle one. So just write 0 0.95. So it gives you nice uh, dark effect. So now I'm gonna add um, brightness and contrast. So just uh, play around these settings. So I'm just gonna make this brightness 12 contrast about minus 5 so I'm just change this brightness 10 so just play around these settings and find a uh, nice settings for your wallpaper so Close this. Now I'm gonna add 
the uh, light on it so go over this icon again and select solid color so for now I'm using the white color make sure it's not full white so uh, I'm using this code df df and df so just copy this code then click OK and change the opacity about 10% or I'm, I'm just gonna use 8% so here we go now I'm just gonna add uh, patterns on it so go over this icon again and select pattern uh, so I'm just use this one uh, just go uh, go to the Google and search uh, download uh, patterns for uh, Photoshop so you will find these patterns so click OK then change the blending mode overlay and change the opacity about 15% ok 15% so uh, just make a new effect uh, bottom of this uh, uh, white color so just go over this icon again and select color lookup I really like this option so you can select your favorite effect so just play around these settings for example I'm going to choose this one it's crisp form so you can select any effect you want so make sure it's bottom of this color fill so I'm just gonna change the opposite about um, 70 70 percent so it gives you nice effect so if you want to change uh, the color just go over this gradient map which is blending option is you just double click on this icon and you can change the color just select only change the second color leave the first one black for example I'm just gonna select the green color okay just click OK so here we go so that's all guys you can create a nice color correction like this so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial so don't forget like comment and subscribe bye bye guys